What did you guys learn about yourselves after one weekend in the midweek game? Uh, we definitely learned that if we, you know, we give 100% every game, we try to go out there and, you know, do our best and do our job, we, we, can, make, we can do big things. I guess, what do you know about the Cincinnati team coming into town? I don't think we really know much. I think our um, coaching staff is doing a great job scouting them right now. Uh, honestly, we are a team of like more for show up and, you know, no matter who we're playing, we're just going to give our, our best all day, every day, every weekend, every, every midweek. Just try to work hard every day. You're now in your second year. I mean, what have you learned from freshman to sophomore year that you're trying to apply? I definitely learned a lot from freshman year. I feel like I'm proving a lot and trying to work on the things I didn't do right last year. I'm trying to, you know, get better every day. I feel like that's something like every single baseball player wants to live out by, try to get better every day. And I feel like it's come a lot easier this year, uh, especially like trying to learn about the maturity of the game. <laughs> But yeah, still trying to get better every day. And the you know, season's young, and I feel like we have a lot, of, a lot of things to get better at. Last year, you played second base for for much of the season. You're back at shortstop. Was there anything you learned at second base that's helped you in the transition back to shortstop? And and what kind of level of um, ex expecting are you at, at shortstop to, to make yourself a better player? Uh, I feel like I learned a lot of second too last year. I started at short, then I moved to second. But I feel like second base is a lot slower pace. Um, trying to take that to shortstop, try to like create better like timing on like uh, in-game clock that a lot of coaches talk about uh but as long as right now it's been a great transition i mean uh, i don't really i don't really mind playing second or short i feel very comfortable playing both positions i guess having that diversity in different um parts of the infield and outfield i know with the pitching rotation you had five pitchers in on monday how important is that just to have all these key factors in the game i feel like it's, it's, it's key i feel like you never know when your coach is going to need you to you, Go play any other, any other position. I could be just like, oh, man, I need to play second today. I'll be more than welcome to play second. I need to play short. I play short. I need to third, first. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like I, oh, I want to play short. I, I'm willing to play anywhere, whatever the team needs. I feel like that's the mentality a lot of people need to have, especially on a team like us. You have to be willing to, you know, sacrifice a lot of things to, you know, help the team win. Do you go back and think about your errors? Do you go back and look at them? Or is it one of those things where you just move on and know you got to do better? I mean, I've, and the, during, uh, during the transition of the game, I definitely move on from it. But, of course, it's something I go back and look. And, like, days like today, I try to work on those. Uh, but, but yeah, it's definitely something I try to move on as soon as, as soon as possible and just try to make the next play. Is there any difficulty with the corners being kind of yeah, rotating yeah. doors so far as far as so many different guys playing first and third through four games? I would say no. I say I think it's like I said, it's great for the team to have a variety of guys being able to play everywhere on a high level. I think it's a great thing to have. And you know, like I said, like I last year I was a freshman this year, I'm a sophomore. And we had a couple of freshmen play third a couple of times, like Tyrell, mm -hmm. um, T. Mark, Tyler Mark. And you know, it's, it's nice. I feel like it's, it's it's a very thing, very good thing to have. But, but I feel comfortable. I feel like it's, it's a great thing to have. What's that relationship like right now with Jackson at second base and having the middle infielders? I uh, mean, Jackson are like really close. I mean, we're really good friends, and you know, he, 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 he transitions to the, um, the field. I feel like it's a great thing to have a great like relationship with your infield guys. But but yeah, me and Jay Green are are really really close. And, really try to you know, do our best out there. And then how important is it when you have a pitching staff like the one that you have for the infield defense to be able to back them up and, and be solid? It's definitely important. Uh, a little a little bit more pressure on you because you know you have such a great pitching staff and you always want to be there and make plays for them. Because we, we all know how hard they were every day. So, so But like we take it as, a, as an opportunity to, you know, to help another teammate. So that's the way we see it.